Hey guys, um, I want to speak to you about integrity and not kind of selling out, which is a it's a horrible phrase that I remember like I remember people talking about selling out when you're in a band and good, bad, whatever. But when you do kind of videos on YouTube, when you do anything in that sort of arena, you get lots of companies that will contact you once you get above a kind of certain level. Um, and they'll say, hey, try out our stuff. If you like it, give it a review. Or more accurately, they don't say, if you like it, give it a review. They say, give it a review. And I've done that for a few microphones in the past, some kind of lower cost ones, some that I truly believe were good and some that I feel like I gave a fair comparison to. One thing that I will say I have never done and that I will never do is say something is great when I don't actually believe it's great. And that is exactly what this video is about because I've been given a microphone which is quite clearly modeled on this, the Shure SM7B, and it doesn't sound good. It really doesn't sound very good. I was kind of gearing up today to do a comparison and, you know, let's A, B it, let's compare it, let's see what the good points are, what the bad points are. And I just couldn't find any good points, <laughs> which is um, embarrassing to say. Well, embarrassing for the manufacturer who I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna name. But I kind of feel like it's more important for me to do this video than it is for me to do that video. Because this video is my assurance, my promise that I'm never going to do a video on any microphone, any piece of software, anything ever, just because someone sent me something or someone's paying me to do something. These guys weren't even paying me. They just, they literally like gave me the money to buy the microphone and I, and I just did it. Um, so money changed hands, but product changed hands as well. So I just kind of got the money back for the microphone. Anyway, it's that weird trick they do. So it counts as a sale on Amazon, you know. Um, but I don't see any point. I see more point in doing a video where it's me saying, okay, I'm always gonna be truthful. I'm always actually gonna do what I say I'm gonna do, um, which I feel is more a comment on a person's character than it would be on their bank balance. You know, it would be great to get paid a load of money for a microphone review that whether you believe it or not, you're gonna say it sounds great and they'll give you 500 quid. Well, someone might do, they might not do, but if you don't actually believe it, if you don't actually think that's true, the most important thing to think about there is that people will see through you very, very quickly. There are a lot of people on YouTube and in the world really, who will just kind of say what they get paid to say. And I do find that, no, a better way of saying that is that I don't find it believable that someone who reviews plugins or reviews microphones loves everyone they've got. I think that there's two things at play there. Either they're just getting paid to say they love them or the ones they don't love, they're sending away and they're saying, I'm not gonna do a review on that. So in this case, it's the latter. I'm going to give this microphone to either my son to game with or to a friend who does some streaming or, or something like that. A microphone that I don't think is really that great even for low level podcast stuff. It might be good for low bitrate streams if you're playing games and screaming down it like my son tends to, I don't know. But hey, there you go. I'd rather make this video saying that I'm not gonna talk any kind of nonsense than create a video where I am talking nonsense. And to me, that's more important than a few quid. I think so anyway. Take care.